In the Lesson 4.6 example, What Factors Led to the Challenger Disaster, we'll review the multiplication rule for independent events. On January 28, 1986, Space Shuttle Challenger exploded on takeoff, killing all seven crew members aboard. Afterward, scientists and statisticians helped analyze what went wrong. They determined that the failure of O-ring joints in the shuttle's booster rockets was to blame. And there were two key facts to note here. First, the experts estimated the probability that an individual O-ring joint would function properly under the cold conditions that day was 0.977. Next, in order to have a safe launch, all six of the O-ring joints had to function properly. Now, assuming that the O-ring joints succeed or fail independently, let's find the probability that the shuttle would launch safely under similar conditions. In this section, we learn that if A and B are independent events, the probability that A and B both occur is probability A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. Now in this case, we have six O-ring joints, each of which are independent of the others, and each of which has a probability of success of 0.977. So to find the probability that we'll have a safe launch, we need to find the probability that the first O-ring is okay, and the second O-ring, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, all the way down to the sixth O-ring. In other words, we need to multiply the probability the first O-ring is okay, times the probability the second ring is okay, all the way to the probability that the sixth O-ring is okay. Each probability, as stated before, was 0 0.977. So the probability of a safe lunch will be 0 0.977 times 0 0.977, six times total or 0.977 to the sixth power. Our probability then of a safe launch, one in which all six O-rings function properly, is 0.87. For some additional practice with the multiplication rule for independent events, try exercise one.